What to expect before and after surgery. So far, you should have a good understanding of what scoliosis is and know about a few different treatment options, including bracing and surgery. In this chapter, we will help you prepare for your journey of setting your scoliosis straight with surgical correction. First, let's begin with, how do you decide if surgery is the right decision? Well, you educate yourself, like what you're doing now. But most importantly, your next step is your pre-operative visit with your care provider. On that visit, we suggest you ask them all the questions you may have, and we suggest these three important questions. One, what are the risks and benefits of having surgery now versus later? Two, what are the risks of not having a surgery? Three, what are the risks and benefits of the suggested surgical approach and procedure? Everyone will interpret the answers and weigh the risks and benefits a little differently. But these questions are an excellent place to start analyzing information that will allow the most informed decision. Before we continue with the surgery process, let us briefly talk about what will happen if you choose not to have surgery. If you choose not to proceed with surgery, it is important to continue to monitor your scoliosis by following up with your doctor for x-rays and exams since the curves may worsen. Remember, bracing in the surgical range is of little to no benefit. But if you do choose to proceed with surgery, choosing a surgeon is the next step. Together, you will formulate a surgical plan and select a date for surgery. What is the surgical plan, you ask? There is more than one way to surgically treat scoliosis. Your surgeon will advise which levels of the spine should be fused and by which surgical approach. What your surgeon recommends will depend primarily on your curve pattern, physical exam findings, and skeletal maturity. There are risks and benefits associated with every surgical approach. Discussing these points with your surgeon will be a part of your pre-operative visit. A few important things to look for when searching for a hospital or surgery center is to make sure they have a board-certified pediatric anesthesiologist, a specialized pediatric staff, availability of a pediatric intensive care unit, and the presence of an intraoperative spinal cord monitoring system. Why is spinal cord monitoring important? Well, before we explain why, let us go over the anatomy first. The spinal cord and nerves control voluntary and involuntary activities of the body. Movement, sensation, bladder and bowel function, just to name a few. The brain processes all of the messages transmitted to it through sensory nerve pathways to the spinal cord, then directs activity by sending messages back through the spinal cord to the muscles. Throughout surgery, the message sending and receiving ability of the spinal cord and nerves are monitored, as well as the brain's response to these messages. This is to catch any changes in spinal cord and nerve signals that might indicate a problem. This testing is done by a trained professional using a sophisticated computer system. The monitoring significantly lowers the risk of spinal cord dysfunction following surgery. Great news! The surgery was a success. After months of researching, planning, and visits with your care provider or surgeon, your surgery is finally done. What's next? After surgery, most patients will go to a recovery room so that they may be closely monitored while waking from anesthesia. After time spent in the recovery room, they will be transferred to their hospital room. The typical hospital stay after surgery is three to four days. Each day, your team of doctors, nurses, and physical therapists will help you progress your activity. During this time, the focus will be on pain management, sitting, walking, eating, and using the restroom on your own. Once these milestones are achieved, you are ready to go home. You've done it. You have made it past the most difficult step of your scoliosis journey. But there is one more step in your journey. In the next chapter, we will talk about recovering at home 
and life after surgery. For more information, visit our website at www.settingscoliosisstraight.org and download our free scoliosis handbook today.